Ladies, my name is Courtney Flugner. I am an artist with Saint Beauty, and in this video, I'm going to be talking all about contour, placement of it, and how it can just completely uh, enhance your features. So, I think for most women, the contour word is scary because when you see it in a makeup palette or you see it online. Um, it looks super dark, right? It looks like this super, super dark color and you're thinking, how on earth is this going to blend out on my face? Um, I want to show today the purpose of contour, how easy it is to blend using a cream contour like what I have here in my palette um, and how much it can truly like just enhance your features and the sh natural shadows of your face. That is what it is truly meant for. So contour is going to bring more dimension to the face. It's going to give more of a lift. It's going to pull, um, and it's going to help maybe minimize areas that you want minimized. The darker color is meant to mimic natural shadows on the face. So all we're going to use this for is just placing where those natural shadows would be to kind of carve out some of our features. So if you look at my face right now, I have one foundation shade on. I have this shade right here all over my face. Um, I don't look very mm, dimensional is what I wanna say. You can't really see a whole lot of my features. So what I'm gonna use my contour for is to kind of slim out my forehead, because I have a pretty wide forehead. I'm going to use it to create a natural shadow right here to accentuate some cheekbones. I'm gonna use it to help slim out my nose a little bit. And I'm also going to use it down here on my jawline to give more dimension there and a little bit more definition. So you can use your finger to apply your contour if you want. You can do stripes, you can do dots, whatever you want to do. You can also use a brush, which is what I will be doing in this video. Um, you have to kind of play with the makeup to find what method you like best. Uh, this is my contour right here. This is one of our darkest contours that we have. We have all different shades, but mine is called Astoria. Um, I'm going to place this in uh, just one, two, three, and then a fourth line on my nose just to show from one side to the other how much definition it can bring. So I'm gonna start on this side and just put my lines. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm just going to dip my brush lightly into the product. You do not have to hardcore swipe into your tin. It's going to pick it up and it's going to be highly pigmented. So you don't need a ton of product. I'm gonna feel for my cheekbone first. And basically what I like to do, I like to make sure that my contour is hugging kind of the underside of my cheekbone and I'm slightly on my cheekbone as well. Um, I'm gonna, I kind of start right here where the top of my ear meets my face. That's kind of a good starting point, but you can feel the hard part of your cheekbone, you can feel the fleshy part down here, but then you can feel the actual bone. We want to make sure that that contour is hitting right there on that bone. The main area that you want to avoid with contour is this general area down here, okay? The, the squishy, fleshy part of the cheek, the face right here. If we're getting a darker color in this area, it's going to pull the face down. It's going to probably appear like we have a five o'clock shadow, which I know is not what anybody <laughs> really is aiming for here. So we're going to take our brush and I'm using the detail and I'm just feeling for that bone. And I'm gonna go ahead and just start tapping my contour right on that bone. Now, you could go right here at this level and be good to go. If you want to add a little bit more, you absolutely can because this is buildable coverage. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tap a little bit more on because I happen to really like a deep contour look. So as you can see, I'm just following right here along that bone. 
And basically what I'm gonna do, I'm going to bring this out to the outer corner of my eye is basically my stopping point. I want to try and avoid my contour way over in this area. So I'm just going to tap it until I'm right there at that outer corner. There's kind of like my perimeter of where I can stop. Okay, so I've got my cheekbone contour kind of lined out there. I'm gonna go ahead and place my forehead contour. And I'm just gonna do one half of my face so that we can continue to see the difference here. So I'm just basically putting a shadow along my hairline. Now, do you have to have your shadow as wide as mine is? No, you can make a much thinner line than this. You can actually draw it on with the smaller end of your brush, or if you would like to just use dots or stripes with your finger, you can absolutely do that. But I'm gonna go ahead and place my contour right here, and I kind of go temple along my, my hairline over to my other temples where I would normally put my contour. So I'm just lightly pressing that in, and there is my forehead contour. I'm gonna come down here and go ahead and add a little bit on the underside of my jaw. So I'm not going on this part of the jaw, I'm going on the underside. See where that natural, you can see your natural shadow there. I'm gonna place it right there underneath and just mimic that natural shadow. If you want, you can take it over and kind of connect right there with your ear and your cheekbone contour. I like that look, so that's why I'm going to put mine. If you have any areas like a double chin, if you have um, loose skin in this area that kind of sags down a little bit, any of the places that we want to minimize, we're going to put our darker contour. So I'm gonna go ahead and hide this friend right here that I have. I'm just tapping on that color. Okay, so when I get this blended out, we're gonna be able to see the difference between having the shadow on that loose skin and not having the shadow. I'm gonna switch to the small end of my brush and this is kind of the optional area of contour. Not all ladies like to contour their nose, but I wanna show some very simple ways to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of squeeze the edge of the small end of my detail brush. And this is the only side that I'm gonna do both lines because I want to see the full effect of the nose here. But you can see the natural shadow on your nose. I'm just going to follow that and I'm kind of starting at the base of my brows and just lightly pulling this down. So where your brows kind of curve into your nose, right there is where I like to start my contour and I'm just bringing it down just like that. And I kind of like to do a little V underneath the tip of my nose and connect those two lines. You don't necessarily have to, but I like the way it looks. So I am placing these contour lines fairly close together, okay? If you have a very wide nose that you want to slim out, you want to get these shadows as close together as possible. And you're gonna leave this little strip of opening um, for a different color. This, getting these shadows as close together as possible is going to kind of block the nose in and create the illusion that it is slimmer than what it really is. So I'm gonna get these fairly close. You can kind of see as I'm kind of buffing this contour line here on my nose, they're getting closer. But I've got this little space that I have left open I go kind of up to the base of my brows and I'm kind of connecting underneath the tip of my nose. So when I come to the side here, you can see I'm not all the way on the side of my nose down here. I am on the bridge of my nose, but I am just basically coming off of on either side with the small strip down 
the center. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out um, so that you can see the difference between just having one flat foundation color with the difference between having that and contour to create shadow and dimension. So I'm gonna start by just gently lifting upwards on my contour here. I always want to make sure that we are lifting the contour upward. So I'm just lightly pressing and you can see my cheek kind of moving upward. I'm just light motions pulling it upward. I don't want to drag any of this color down here. And the creams are so forgiving that if you accidentally do pull the color where you don't want it to go, you can easily use your brush that had maybe your main foundation color on it or even your brightening concealer color can, can help correct that. So just lightly pushing the contour in because I don't want to over buff. It is very, very easy to over buff and blend this contour out to the point where you're like, wait a minute, where did it go? What was even the purpose of putting it on because now I can't see it. So I like to just do gentle motions, gentle blending. Okay, so I've got my forehead contour kind of buffed up towards my hairline. Now I'm going to pull this contour down. This is the only part of my contour that I'm going to pull downward. I'm gonna blend it into my neck. Kind of like to go back and forth like this along the jawline, buff that out in front of my ear if I put it there. And I'm just going to lightly start pulling this shadow down the neck. Okay, so let's look at the difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and just buff this out as well. I kind of start with my brush. Buffing first, and then I like to blend the rest in with my perfector sponge. I have my perfector sponge. This is my favorite beauty blender. Uh, this is by Saint as well. I do get this damp. I run it under the faucet, I wring it out, and I kind of roll it in a towel. It should not leave any wet prints on your face. Um, it should just feel cold to the touch. But this is going to help kind of give that final blending to the product for that airbrushed finish. Um, and you want to make sure that you have it damp so that you're not uh, soaking up too much of your product. Sometimes a dry sponge can just literally pull everything off. So we wanna use it damp and just make sure that we're giving everything one last final press in with this and it will help pick up any excess product also that we maybe didn't have blended or applied too much of. So I'm just gonna start by lightly bouncing this on the skin. It's gonna press that contour in even more I'm just lightly dabbing on the skin. You'll see that it picked up any excess that I needed, but it did not completely remove the product from my face. So just tapping that in. And this last part, this is where I really like to stamp my nose contour in and make sure that those Shadows have not disappeared on either side of my nose here. I put them there for a reason. I don't want them to completely go away. So just kind of lightly blending into the bottom base of that brow so that doesn't look harsh. Okay, so I want to, to like step back here and look at either side of my face. Which side appears more pulled and lifted and which side almost looks like it's being, um, I don't wanna say pulled down, but just not as lifted. It doesn't look as dimensional. So my nose definitely looks slimmer. I think this side of my face, by placing that shadow there, 
this is not as noticeable right here compared to right here where I did not put the shadow. I feel like this looks more um, defined on this side, my jawline, and definitely by having the cheekbone, I feel like this gave this side of my face the lift and dimension that it needed. It definitely looks smaller on this side of my forehead compared to this side as well. So this is why contour doesn't need to be scary, guys. It's always going to blend out. It's not going to be as dark as it is uh, in the tin, right? You're just putting a small amount on um, and you don't need to worry about it staying like that. It's going to blend out, especially if you have a really great dense brush like this. This is going to just really press the product in and make sure that nothing excess is hanging out on the face. So the detail brush does exactly what its name says. It's for detailed highlight and contour. It's gonna give you more of that chiseled contour look. Um, this is my absolute favorite brush to use. So if you have questions, put them in the comments below. I would be happy to help you with your contour placement. I'll come back in a different video and we will talk about how we can use contour um, on our eyes and on our lips. So I hope this was helpful, ladies.